Hi, I'm Bernie Collins. I'm here with the Sky Sports F1 team and I'm going to use my past experience in F1 and provide a deeper insight into what's going on over a race weekend. So I was head of race strategy for the Aston Martin team for seven years with that team and previous to that I'd worked with McLaren and um, performance engineer on Jensen Button's car during the 2014 season and um, working with a whole host of drivers, too many to name probably, but Sebastian Vettel, Lance Stroll, um, Chaco Perez, many podiums over that time and making the strategy decisions, the reaction to what's going on around us in order to get the best possible result we can. So I think one of the fun facts that people are most interested when I tell them about my time in F1 and on the pit wall is obviously you're dealing with a lot of information from both drivers. And the way we do that is we listen to one driver in each ear. So I would listen to Sebastian in my left ear and I would listen to Lance in my right ear. So that mirrored the positions that they were in in the garage um, and how they were set up on my panel. And that's, that's how we dealt with all of the information that came through. So I think the hidden talent that I've probably kept hidden for all of my time in F1 has been fit to say something confidently. So on the pit wall as a strategist, you just need to be fit to say that you believe you should box that lap and just sound really confident about it and therefore hope that people act on your expectations. So I think the superpower that everyone in the paddock desires is teleportation. If I could just leave home and instantly be in the country or at the venue or at the track that I need to be up for my work, that would really make a massive difference to my life. There's many hobbies. Uh, last weekend I was at the Rugby and Six Nations. I'll definitely be tuning into that or trying to around this weekend. Um, a lot of time at home. And I have a little bit of time down the pub. So the favourite race, there can only really be one choice. It had to be Bahrain 2020 when Chaco got the win. It was my first win as a race strategist. Uh, a lot of it was down to some of the decisions that we made on that day. And it was, yeah, fantastic. We'd had a really tough year and it was lovely to end the year with a win. So favourite driver is a tough one because it's so politically charged and I don't want anyone to think that they're not my favourite driver. Um, I guess part of me should say Jensen because we're working with him now, but probably have to say Sebastian um, Vettel that I worked with last year. He was really lovely to work with and brought so much experience that, that really helped me as a strategist. Can Bernie hear me? She can. Well, I was only there for two years or one and a half with you, but uh, it's been good fun. You're a great person. Thank you. Big kiss. So the most exciting thing I think about in F1 in 2023, aside from me helping with the Sky Sports coverage, it's probably going to be, there's so many tight battles in the field, you know, the Aston Martin, Ferrari, Mercedes, that's going to be a real battle all year that's just going to run and run. So I'm really looking forward to seeing who comes out on top of that one. I think my most used emoji is probably going to be a smiley face. And actually, stupidly, at the moment, I end up just using the old school emoji quite often and not really actually the proper one. I think the worst one had to be at one point I used to cycle into the Silverstone race because it's so close to us. And I basically ended up falling off my bike at the entrance just as a busload of McLaren mechanics were running by. Uh, and I took a long time in the paddock that weekend to live that down. So the best advice I've been given in my career at Formula One is always keep asking why. Um, for every action, for everything another team did, for every strategy decision, there's a good reason for it. And it's about trying to figure out why it happened, what happened, why people made the decisions that they did. So always just keep digging into the data and finding an answer.